At Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do it right. Chicken right. Chi-Chi's Ultimate Combo shows how even we get carried away. It's eight great Chi-Chi's favorites. Cheese nachos, a burro, enchilada, chili con queso, taco, beans, rice, plus Mexican fried ice cream. All at a price even we don't believe. Chi-Chi's Ultimate Combo. Better hurry in before we have second thoughts. Chi-Chi's, a celebration of food. Bounce right back to Gerard, but before you can get a shot away, it's stolen by Mitch Rinke. Two and one the other way. Robert in front, and they score. Michael Chapu with an open net, his ninth of the year. It does not take long for the Penguins to grab a one nothing lead. Yes. Off the glove of Manel, and another two on one. Manel caught pinching. It is Legere and Robert. Legere, a great sprawling save by Sandstrom. Rebound back into the crease area. Sandstrom trying to cover up. The Phantoms are not the first one to it. That's going to have to change here. You have to win some battles. Zek gets knocked down by Olsen. Here's a back hit by McKinnon. Into the net. He scores! Ryan McKinnon! This around Matthew Bredor, where the assistant. Yeah, shot on the scores. Frank Sachera gets this one through. Back of the net, and the Royals jump up an early one to nothing lead. And it's Frank Sachera finding twine. Face off, one back by the Royals. Kept in the zone at the blue line by Felix. And the zone in front and scores. Gets past Logan Flodell and the Lions. Keeping the puck on the offensive end, the product is a game tying goal. Beating Frodell with Pritchard near end boards. Pritchard surveying his options. Throws this in front. The flush and offense scores! A beautiful deflection top shelf and low. With a beautiful feed and an even prettier finish from Thomas Ebbing. As that makes nine. To chase his puck, they who with a rush towards Valerie Air. Centering pass. Stolen by Redding. 
And they now lead their all offensive stick. Emmy, cross ice feed, just scores! One timer! Puck will trickle off his stick blade. And Elias will retreat with the puck. Cough it up. Deshera in front scores! Deshera to low! Backhand shovel shot over the left pad of Stilovs. And the Royals extend their. We'll play the puck, take it up ice. And they carry it with numbers. Once again, Marion into the zone. Bike out. One more up top scores! Renato, his first game with the Royals. And he finds top shelf. The Royals extend their lead to four. Welcome to the Royals. Welcome to Reading. Everybody, it's me, Timmy Flyers guy, and welcome to Flyers Minor League Report. I'm your host, Timmy Flyers guy. When we last left off, the Reading Royals and the Lehigh Valley Phantoms were in action last night. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms faced off against the Los Angeles Renton Penguins at PPL Center. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms gave up the first goal, and Willis Ray took a 1 0 lead. Then the Phantoms tied, tied the score at, at 1 1. And then Willis Ray Scranton took a 2 1 lead, and then the Phantoms tied it up once again. And then Wade Allison scored the escort. <laughs> then Wade Allison scored the go ahead goal. Giving the Phantoms a 3-2 victory. And then, the Phantoms got the empty net goal. And the Phantoms won. Phantoms beat the Wolves for each screen. Penguins 4-2. This was a very important win for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Especially considering that Wilkesbury has, that uh, Wilkesbury is still hang is still clinging, clinging on to that last Playoff spot that the Phantoms so desperately need right now. But tonight the Phantoms will be in action again as they face off against a red hot Utica Comets team. The High Valley Phantoms will be looking to get a victory against the Utica Comets for the first time at home this season. The only time the Phantoms ever beat the Utica Comets was back in Utica. On New uh, uh, during the new year, when they came back and beat Utica, they beat Utica six to five. Tonight, the Phantoms will be looking to get a second victory and maybe get some consistency and maybe get some consistency in their game. Can the Lehigh Valley Phantoms beat the Utica Comets? Well, we'll find out as the Lehigh Valley Phantoms take on the Utica Comets tonight. Meanwhile, in the afternoon, the Reading Royals will be in action as they face off once again against the Toronto Riviera Lions. The Reading Royals absolutely dominated the Lions last night, beating the Lions 5-1. to one. The Reading Royals look like a good team. And it looks like they can actually win the division if they keep playing good. So tonight, hopefully, the Reading Royals can keep their winning ways going as they gear up for the Kelly Cup playoffs coming April 20th. I'm Timmy Flyers Guy, and this is your Flyers, minor league report. Let's go Phantoms, and let's go Royals. <laughs> 